the only spooky thing we have. <laughs> um, nothing grand like that. Uh, there's a couple things that happen in October. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, my personal favorite because I never thought that was gonna happen at all. Uh, but uh, the Uncharted movie with Tom Holland has actually finished filming. After seven years, a boatload of directors and changes in actors and everything, uh, the movie finished filming uh, right a week after Tom Holland posted the first picture of him as Nathan Drake. And I think we finally saw Mark Wahlberg, who for some reason is still um, attached to the project with his mustache as Sully, which at least he has a mustache, we'll see how it does. Um, I'm actually quite happy because I never thought that movie was going to come out, but it did. So, you know, here we are. Uh, moving from that, um, Netflix is doing great in the anime section. They have penned a um, contract to work with uh, some studios to get four new series uh, exclusive to them. Uh, so they'll keep working on their own content. And uh, anime is such a big market that uh, Sony is working to buy Crunchyroll for almost $1 billion. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how it goes and if they develop new stuff uh, for here and for, uh, for uh, the uh, Japanese market. Uh, where most of these series come from, but you know, it's expanding because it's a very popular uh, animation uh, kind of way to do series and stuff. Um, if you haven't seen any of this, I would totally encourage you to check out uh, stuff like uh, Castlevania series. Um, Avatar The Last Airbender, it's not really anime because it's made here, but it's it has a lot of the elements that, that would make it an anime. Um, Studio Ghibli movies, stuff like that, and uh, you know, uh, you know, you have the always the the trifecta of the the, the series Dragon Ball, um, Naruto, and uh, One Piece. Um, don't skip on My Hero Academia; it's phenomenal. Uh, so uh, apparently, anime is a big market, and Sony is trying to get in, and Netflix is investing. So there's that. Um, as things keep moving forward, and some movies have managed to complete filming, like I said, a chart of filming, uh, Tomb Raider 2 has been delayed infinite, indefinitely uh, due to the COVID concerns. Um, you know, it's uh, very difficult to keep everything uh, going. Some countries have been able to open, some others uh, can't. And so, like, uh, probably if you're filming in New Zealand, it's easy to continue filming over there, as long as you're there, because they have dealt with it. But if you're here in North America, uh, United States, you're probably going to have trouble with keeping things on track there. I mean, even the production of Batman, the Batman had to stop because uh, Robert Pattinson uh, got COVID, and so, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, uh, following that, um, there was a big push to have the new Bond movie, No Time to Die, uh, come directly to streaming. Apparently, um, um, Amazon, Netflix, and many other streaming services tried to get the movie, uh, but the producers and the studio behind uh, No Time to Die decided to skip that because uh, they weren't getting what they were expecting they would get, basically, from going to the theaters. So the movie still slated to whenever it's going to come out after everything comes down but otherwise it's uh, skipping streaming until it hits theaters and then uh, michael b jordan is uh i in the role of director for the creed 3 movie uh it's gonna be interesting he is a, a pretty good actor and he's done uh, a lot of work as producer i believe so stepping into the director role might be uh very uh, interesting way for him to expand, uh, extend his career and expand into something other than acting. Um, we've seen some uh, actors have done this uh, very successfully, so hopefully he can do so as well. Quibi is closing. Do you believe it? It was here for just a Quibi. The, the, it's a $2 billion service that they created to do mobile videos 
they were charging so basically they're competing with YouTube and uh, it didn't work not only because during the pandemic where you're not on the street it's the worst time to release a service that's meant to be watched on the on the cell phone only on the cell phone you couldn't stream it anywhere else but because you're basically working against YouTube which has people like me creating stuff for free and people don't have to charge uh, and yeah it's, it's a magnificent uh, probably there's a great um, series that they were doing but you know they were giving away six months for free to people to try it so you know it's uh, they're probably gonna chalk it up to the pandemic and say that's why it didn't work but it was flawed from the beginning so that's the thing I think my last story is the um, Ray Fisher claim that uh, Just We Don't uh, was being uh, making the Justice League movie a production uh, hostile environment for him and people of uh, color and, uh, and trying to uh, he made more specific claims now that um, he heard him discussing changing the skin tone of actors of colors or uh, color and uh, make, making an edit to get um, the best cast members not the main cast but like um, people who were like um, supporting cast uh, edited out and stuff like that and so it's, uh, it's very sad to me that this keeps happening to Warner because they have good properties that I really like I mean Superman uh, DC Universe uh, the Harry Potter Universe was one of my favorites and uh, every time something happens like this I, it gives me less and less um, I, I don't want to keep watching these movies because I don't want to support this kind of stuff you know and so uh, Warner keep, needs to get its stuff together and figure out how to first of all don't hire these people and if you do control stuff you know so that it doesn't happen in your watch because it doesn't make you a good studio and um, in the end it's not gonna let you continue you're one of the big studios you need to be able to do better and studios uh, screw up from time to time that's that that's all right but it's moving forward you don't Warner's been doing it for a while that they keep doing this um, other than that you know um, this is a spooky uh, long Halloween on a Saturday uh, on the day the daylight savings ends and uh, we have a blue moon full moon so enjoy your spooky time